Unveiling the meaning, sow seeds in the English language. Hello, everyone. Today we're diving into a phrase that's rooted deep in the English language, sow seeds. Whether you're a language enthusiast or someone who loves to unravel the beauty of English idioms, this video is for you. We'll explore not just the literal meaning, but also the figurative sense that makes this phrase so versatile and rich in context. Let's start with the basics. To sow seeds literally means to plant seeds in the ground. It's a term that comes from agriculture, where sowing refers to the act of scattering or planting seeds in the soil, where they can grow into plants or crops. When we talk about sowing seeds, we're often referring to the start of something that will grow or develop, just like a seed that grows into a plant. Moving beyond the garden, sow seeds is frequently used as a metaphor. In this context, it means to start or initiate something that will develop or become apparent only later on. It's about laying the groundwork or foundation for future benefits or outcomes. This can apply to ideas, plans, relationships, or even personal growth. For instance, when someone says, he's sowing the seeds of success, they mean that the person is starting to do things that will eventually lead to success. How do we use sow seeds in everyday language? It can be quite versatile. You might hear it in business contexts, educational settings, or even in personal development talks. For example, a teacher might sow seeds of curiosity in their students by introducing them to intriguing topics. A young entrepreneur could be sowing seeds for their future business by networking and learning valuable skills. To give you a better grasp, let's look at some examples of how sow seeds can be used in sentences. By volunteering in her community, she is sowing seeds of change. The author's new book sows seeds of doubt about traditional history. You should start sowing seeds for your retirement fund as early as possible. When using this phrase, it's important to remember that it implies a starting point or an investment that will yield results later. It's not used for immediate outcomes. So, you wouldn't say, he sowed seeds and got a promotion the next day, because the results of sowing seeds typically take time to manifest. And that's a wrap on, sow seeds. I hope this video has planted some seeds of understanding about this rich phrase and that you'll be able to cultivate its use in your everyday English. Happy learning, and may you sow many successful seeds in your journey with the English language. Until next time, keep nurturing your language skills.